Hello guys, um, today I'm uh, gonna try to explain you the differences between the three, the three materials that you can that you can use to print planes like Eclipson or others. Um, I print the same part, the same part with PLA lightweight PLA, either by uh, Colorfab or Eason, and this one is hard to find, for now I only find it on uh, Amazon US, it's a uh, Polymaker Polylight lightweight PLA, I explain the difference. Uh, everyone knows the PLA, Colorfab and Eason, Colorfab then Eason, made lightweight PLA. It's a PLA that includes some, uh, some particles that when you hit them uh, make some gases. So this way according to the temperature you get a material that will expand like, uh, like foam. It's foamy. And the result is that you can have something really really lighter. Uh, I'm gonna show you. Um, Quite difficult to print because you have to set the correct uh, mix of temperature and flow, uh, but you can go down uh, half the weight of the PLA uh, for the same same part. This one is a little bit different, so it's Polymaker, and instead of having a PLA with a particle that will expand to temperature, this one is already formed. It's already in the foam uh, uh, texture, etc. And so you print just like regular PLA. Uh, in fact, uh, I print these three parts with the provided G code by Eclipson for the Model S. This is the part uh, wing 3 left with flaps. And these two ones were printed with the PLA G code. And of course, this one with the lightweight PLAG code. So let's see the weight. This part is 39 grams. The one on lightweight PLA is very light, 18 grams. So half the half the weight. And with the poly maker poly light lightweight. 26, 27 grams. So a little bit heavier than than, uh, than lightweight PLA, but as, a, as I try to show you, it's stiffer uh, because uh, I mean this is very light. Unfortunately, it's not stiff at all. Um, I just hope that on the camera we can see it. And, and uh, I'll try to show you the, the difference uh, between the three. So, for example, if I go with the PLA and if I apply something to deform it, just like a I have to go, yeah, maybe 800 grams or 1000 grams of, of force to deform it. If I do the same with lightweight PLA for the same deformation, unfortunately it's 300 grams, 300, 400 grams. And with polylight Polymaker Polylight, lightweight PLA, with the same deformation, I think it's more five, five to six hundred grams. So it's it's really stiffer than the lightweight, a little bit heavier, but I, I think uh, I think it's a good choice for building the planes because. It's a good mix between the PLA, which is stiff, robust, 
and the lightweight PLA. Uh, I mean, I don't have the calculation, but this one is 50% 50, 50 of the PLA. This one is what? Maybe 60% uh, at maximum of the weight. So it, it's, uh, I think it's, uh, it's a good choice. Anyway, thank you and see you soon. Bye.